Hi guys, this is Steffi and welcome to my channel, so Journey with Steffi. So this video is the second part of my two-part vlog about my naturalization journey. So if you missed that part, you can click this link right here or you can also finish this video and then just go back. You can check out the description box below where I will put the link for the first part. So it's up to you guys but I hope you will stay till the end of this video and if you enjoy it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I'm trying to upload a new video every Friday so please don't forget to hit the bell button here so you will be updated every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. So here's our menudo with rice. Not as, not as orange and yellow as before, I think. The hair toner tone. Just remember you don't need to be perfect. God loves you for who you are. So just Yay, it's winter. So in the first part of the video, I shared with you when and how I applied for my naturalization or N400. So that was September 2020, so that's last year. And I also shared there how long before I heard an update from the USCIS or US Citizenship and Immigration Services and the biometrics and the interview part, what were the questions and what are the tips and the lessons I learned from that experience. Actually, I was really planning to include the oath-taking part on that video. So it's one video all in all from application to oath-taking. But I realized it will take a lot of time and it's going to be too long and I don't want to bore you guys. That's why I am making a second part now. So aside from my oath-taking experience, I will also share in this video what's next after you get your citizenship certificate. an official US citizen today after I do my oath so it's gonna be at 9 o'clock in the morning and we are on our way now and as you see it's really snowing so bad today it's like 25 degrees Fahrenheit so it's it's really cold so I'm so happy and excited and I also feel relieved that finally since I've been here in the US I've been having this love-hate relationship with the USCIS because of all the waiting all the filing of documents all the paperwork that they require and I'm sure it's it goes the same with all other immigrants they have to do all this paperwork to be able to stay here legally yeah so today that will end yeah, I'll keep you posted
I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, potentate, state or sovereignty of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States. Oh, when, required by the law. when required by the law, that I will perform, perform non-combatant service, non service in the armed forces of the United States, when required by the law, that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction, under when required by the law. And that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. So help me God. All right. Yay. And here are your So, once you get done with your go over with you first. First of all, when you first get your certificate, what you need to do is you need to look at everything on the certificate to make sure it's all correct, okay? Make sure your name's spelled correct, make sure your date of correct, make sure everything on it is perfect. Because right now, today, I can take it back to our guy back there and he can fix your certificate if there's a problem with it. But after today, I think it's at midnight probably, the computer system shuts us out, locks us out. And then to get a new certificate, you have to file a form and wait another year to get a new certificate. So the first thing you need to do is look at it and make sure everything on there is correct, okay? All right, next, now that you're gonna be citizens, you can apply, uh, you can file petitions for your parents and brothers and sisters, and if you have married sons and daughters, you can file for them as well. And you can do that by going to our website, uscis.gov. Make sure it's d.gov. There's a .com site that looks just like ours, but they don't do anything for you. They just take your money, and then you got to go to our website anyway. So .gov website and file form I-130. If you have children who are 17 years of age or younger and are living with you and have a permanent resident card, they are going to become citizens today as well. So you would want to go to a website and file a form N600 for them. posted my first video some of you sent me a message asking me how much it is to file um, this naturalization application so I paid $725 and $640 is for the filing fee and $85 is for the biometrics so it's a total of $725 but just like what I said um, on my first video, make sure that you always check the USCIS.gov website because they always updated the filing fee, the process, the form. So make sure that you're updated in all their announcements and news releases. On the day of my oath taking, I also got my certificate for my name change. It's all good to go and it's already signed by the judge. I didn't realize that's really fast.
So you're probably asking what's next after you become a US citizen. So on the packet, they will give you this. Um, congratulations on becoming a U.S. citizen and there's your rights and responsibilities as a citizen of the United States. And, and here at the back, this is all the things that you need to do. First is to apply your U.S. passport, update your social security record, register to vote, and obtain a certificate of citizenship for your child. And the last one is to sponsor your family members to come in the United States if they want to. So these are the things that you need to do after you become a U.S. citizen. So that's it guys. I hope this vlog has helped you in some ways in dealing with this um, exciting yet stressful process. I hope that um, you learned something from this vlog and if you have additional questions, if there's anything that I haven't tackled yet, I'm sure you have a lot of questions and just like me before, I was also nervous and confused. Actually, I was more worried that I might mess up or you know forget some important details but thank god everything went well and i also hope the same for you guys so if you have any questions feel free to message me and and if you don't want to put it in the link below you can always pm me on my facebook or my instagram so have a great day and god bless everyone Bye bye